the next level. I just, I, I just am amazed. The kid has run 800 miles yesterday and today. And we're always talking about how fit Jimmy Johnson is. Oh, no. and, and, you know, Kyle's not the guy that, that we think of who's out doing marathons and triathlons and things like what Carl Edwards is doing. But I got to say, he's in great race shape because... And he yeah. never seems to be winded. Yeah, he races himself in his shape. That's, that's his fitness regimen, winning. Yeah. And now he's going to have, he's got clocks to wind. He may have six shooters to load after tonight. Oh, yeah, and uh, videos to post by right? leaving the racetrack. <laughs> Tell Samantha to put a light on that camera. I was going to say, tonight, if, they, if they have lights <laughs> with them tonight and they light up to us, and now wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Going to be a good night for Rick Hendrick. The last time Hendrick Motorsports had four cars, all four cars finished in the top ten, was here one year ago. Has Johnson led tonight? I think no. He has. He didn't, you know, he didn't lead last week at Martinsville either. Chase Elliott is the only Hendrick car to lead this race, and he did that on a green flag pit stop cycle. I'm going to have here between teammates before this thing's over, between Jimmy and Chase. Boy, Jimmy was going for four in a row. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Call in the dog. Turn out the lights. Kyle Busch going to come around to lead his 34th lap. Sixth career win, Kyle Bush wins the Duck Commander 500. Well, you don't quit, my man. You're the best, Kyle. You don't get any better. You it. He joins Jimmy Johnson as a double winner in 2016. Good job, really. Thanks, man. Good job, guys. What a dig you have tonight. And he has finished in the top five in six of this year's seven races. For the ninth time, get the broom out. Career weekend sweep won the Xfinity race yesterday. Thoroughly dominated that one. And we're going to Bristol where he's, I mean, he's as good as anybody when we get to Bristol. I mean, this this team is on a roll, baby. Now, are the trucks and Xfinity cars running next week? He might be able to do all three. <laughs> well, <laughs> Bristol. He has won the last four NASCAR National Touring Series races. <laughs> Checkered flag is today's Sunoco fueling victory. You know how you get really good at doing burnouts? Uh -huh. You do it all the time. <laughs> <They're not even. laughs> it's the 131st Sprint Cup win for Joe Gibbs Racing, their third of the season and their fifth year. Mike Kyle has now won 22% of his races since coming back from last season's injury. He wanted a truck, he wanted a cup, he wanted an Xfinity, he wants a cup. Now he gets to take a bow once again in Texas. Easy, son. Easy. I think those are cheers. I'm not hearing booze like he used to hear. Those are cheers. Well, he's earned them the he hard way. Absolutely, he has. Somebody had to even broom through the fence. <laughs> 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 the guy with a broom trying to hand it to me. <laughs> he came prepared. Fast pit stops, the right strategy. Quick when it counted. Kyle Bush is tonight's winner. Jr. second, 3.9 seconds back. Joey Logano third, 
Jimmy Johnson fourth, Chase Elliott fifth, Kyle Busch a winner in Texas. We'll be right back.